Greetings from Seoul, Korea, and welcome to the GSL CODES. We're here in the semifinals. I am Tasteless, and with me is Artosis, and we are going to have a very sick PvP today. Oh my god, a best yeah. of seven PvP between two of the best PvPers, two of the best Protosses in the world. Yeah. What more could I ask for uh, this is as a the, Protoss player this myself? Is, yeah, I know. Well, we've gotten to learn a lot about PvP this season. Yeah. Uh, with this season having more Protosses than we've ever had uh, in a GSL Code S. Here we have, I guess we can say now, the two best PvPers in the world. I, I think you can pretty much say you that. Pretty like much say that. For the number of PvPs these yeah. guys had to go through That's true. Uh, in a very short period of time, like what, about six weeks? Uh, these are the two best. Yeah. Now we're going to see who really is the best PvPer before we go on to a non-mere matchup final. Who do you think it's going to be, Zest or Rain? Uh, well, I think it's going to be Rain, but Correct. If, if, Z if Zest wins, I will not be blown away. Okay. Zest has been playing very, very well, and PvP is a pretty tricky matchup. I wouldn't be blown away, but I would be surprised. Now, there's sure. a lot of people predicting Zest because Zest has been doing so well. He's just he's been crushing lately, right? And he's beaten Rain recently. Uh, he's like he's got one of the highest PvP win percentages in the whole world. He all killed SKT one. Uh, like the guy is quite a beast. But Rain, he is my well, man. He is the Rain guy who has got, figured out Wings of Liberty PvP. Yeah, and he's he's got that solid safe play style. Yeah. Um, Zest does look very good. Then again, the last PvP Zest won. Uh, he did win partially because his opponent was quite jet lagged. That is true. He, you know, he beat SOS, and yeah, because Rain beat SOS Hero. Just come back from uh, IEM, yeah. and he kind of crushed him. Yes, yes, he did. But he was definitely jet lagged. Uh, no question about that. that SOS plays a didn't huge play role. his best. For those of you guys that don't travel, playing under jet lag is yeah. brutal. I yeah. mean, that's when your brain is literally telling you to like lay down under the desk and go to bed. Yeah. So. And, uh, um, I don't know if maybe SOS would have won had he not been jet lagged, but another, I definitely could say that was a factor. Another piece of this, I have to say, is a lot of his PvP wins recently have been against Trap. And Trap That's is a very true. good Protoss player, but I yes. think PvP is his weakest. Uh, yeah, um, you, when you think of uh, the best uh, PvPers in the world, that you don't pull Trap's name up right yeah. away. Whereas Rain, I, I mean, he beat Hero. Who, yeah, I guess was also jet lag, but I think Hero is just a very solid PvPer and played sure. very well against Rain, whereas SOS was kind of like way off. SOS seemed out of it in the yeah. games he was playing, just not really in control. And uh, I mean, Rain also, he came out of that four Protoss group uh, in that previous round. It, he's beaten all of the top Protosses so, so many times, and in a best of seven, a safe player like Rain who really knows about positioning in PvP. I have to give him this okay, victory. Okay, so you're tasteless. saying that Rain's going to win. He's what, going to win. What will the score be then? Like 4-2. Four 4-2? Two. Four two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. 4-2, four 4-3 four maybe. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be a 4-0 on, on either side here. It, it I can't, can't imagine be a that. Like just so statistically, a best of seven with two players is good. It can't be a 4-0. And by the Come way, on. speaking of statistics, PvP, the shortest matchup, I don't think that means we're going to necessarily have a short day today here. Mm. I think we should have a lot of epic, drawn-out games, especially when you look at somebody like Rain. Um, if the game isn't edited early on, Rain is certainly somebody who's going to manage to push this into late game. And well, late that's game, where late he's going to be the best. Yeah, and late game PvP is pretty, pretty dramatic, pretty epic. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, and in fact, uh, part of the reason why it is is because of Rain, because yes. he figured out so much about PvP. Like, oh yeah, no one should ever forget that Wings of Liberty PvP was a crapshoot until he figured out like. The uh, number of immortals you need, the yeah. number of colossus you need, how you spread them, which that maps require what, what. Nine immortals, nine colossi, it, or eight immortals, like eight colossi. We're like, oh, I guess, I guess he solved it. Yeah, I guess we know now. It, battles now were chaos before Rain brought stability to them. I think chaos is a nice, nice word for it. I, uh, it was yeah. complete. Uh, crap shoot but sometimes. It, was. Well, it, it felt battles. like it. You just see it and there's lasers and just blinking stuff and you're like, I'm not really sure what just happened. I don't happened. even know if I'm going to play-by-play yeah. this. I might just scream a bunch and then wait and see 
uh, what's left over. <laughs> it looks like he's winning. It's like, who? Who's uh, winning? The, the Protoss. <laughs> yeah. That really good Protoss. Look at that arc. Oh, my God. <laughs> but he's fighting that. Yeah, it was it was crazy. But anyways, Rain, like, I have a huge thumbs up to him winning today. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see Rain in the finals. Rain is, uh, at this point in time, I guess we can call him old school now. He's been around for so. long enough. I remember when, um, you know, a few years ago when we were just beginning to see Rain uh, rise up when the Kespa guys came out. And we're really proving that uh, the Kespa players have a much more uh, uh, harder training regimen that produces better results. And that was when we really saw a big shift uh, dynamically in, in it. who was on top and yeah. who was not yeah. at that phase. He was of the, the one Kespa guy that stood head and shoulders above. Well, not the one. Like, Sulky was also extremely sure. good back then. Sulky for Zerks, a yeah. few others were very good. In fact, CJ Hero was one of the guys that was popping up, but not quite where he is He was today. a little bit overshadowed by people like yeah. Rain, for yeah. instance. Indeed. Uh, but Rain really was standing on top of the Kespa players. And uh, if you actually look at it, he still kind of is. This is his third top eight in a row. Yeah. He's gone to three finals since he started, or two finals since he started uh, yeah. StarCraft II, and very well could go to his third here. So, uh, you know, shortly here we're going to have a player interview uh, and see what these two guys are uh, thinking. Uh, before they go into this match. Mm. I'm curious to see how confident Zest is. Zest, out of all the players that we have, I'd say he might be the most confident. Uh, when you really look at his interviews, he's really comfortable. He's really relaxed. Yeah. Uh, is he confident he can go on this far? Getting to the Final Four is no small feat in a GSL Code S. But uh, the difference between getting in the Final Four and then being in the, the Grand Finals is pretty big. Yeah. Especially you for, don't even really for remember legacy back and to everything the top like fours. That. Yeah. Like, the top fours, it's it's very hard. Like, do you remember that Hung and Prime made a top four? I tried to forget, but... Well, I brought it back. Here's that painful <laughs> it's memory. It's etched back to my mind Imagine now. how good he would be if he was still playing with how good Blink Stalkers are right now. <laughs> <laughs> the only That's unit funny. he would make. I remember that. We're like, well... Over here, this guy's got, you know, a very complicated unit mixture. But over here at Hungen's base, we have 50 stalkers. Um, how He'd fit that? right in He'd nowadays. He'd fit right in. Uh, yeah, it, it, times have changed now. Uh, we've yeah. got very uh, new players out here. But, yeah, Zest really uh, gunning to get in those finals. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we will not have a mere match of Zest finals. Zest would be a Royal Rotor were he to win. That's very true. Yeah. And, you know, if he beats Rain... Okay, then we have another interesting question we got to ask ourselves is can he go and beat a non mirror matchup? Because he PvP'd his way here to get this far. Mm -hmm. Anyways, on to our interview, we're going to see what our two players, uh, Rain and Zest, are thinking before their match. You mentioned you feel comfortable here at the studio. Do you still feel like that? That's what you said. I don't feel nervous at all. I feel totally comfortable and confident, and I think I'm going to do well today. And Rain, do you feel nervous? I've been providing good results, and this is my first time in this position, so I feel very comfortable as well. Do you feel comfortable, Tasteless? I can't do this. <laughs> Rain mentioned that uh, you're the best PvP player. Do you agree? <laughs> well, I think I'm good, but I never thought uh, I never thought of myself as the very best PvP -er. But since Rain thinks so, I hope he continues to think that. <laughs> I think there's a lot of learned. I think I have a lot to learn from Rain today. Okay. 
이때까지 1인자였을 뿐이라. 자, 계속해서 오늘 경기 I agree, so that's really good, but if I beat him today, I guess that would make me the best PVP player. 이 우승자 켈러가 또 한번 잡느냐, 아니면 실패를 하느냐, 바로 이건데요. 또이 주성 선수가 또 팀에게 굉장히 미운 존재잖아요. 네. 오시기 전에 어떤 뭐 팀의 안명을 받거나 그런 게 있나요? 네, 뭐 딱히 그런 말씀은 안, 안 하셨는데 그냥 제가 눈치상 다 느끼고 있어가지고 오늘 꼭 네, 복수할 수 있도록 해야 될것 같아요. 개인전이긴 하지만. Zest knocked out a lot of my teammates. And my teammates didn't really say anything, but I could feel that they want me to get uh, vengeance here today, and that's what I'm going to do. So, 오히려 그런 점을 즐기기 때문에 그냥 계속 즐기고 싶어요. 어, 즐기고 싶다. 그렇게 심리전이 좀 강하다고 생각을 하시나 봐요. 아니요, 그냥. I enjoy that kind of pressure. 이겨서 상대분이 저를 싫어하는 게 재밌기 때문에 오늘도 좀 즐기고 싶어요. 네. And I enjoy my opponents lose and start to hate me. And if I win the first set, I think the score is going to be 4 1 or 4 2. Who do you want to beat in the finals if you move on? Hope life makes it. I've beaten a lot of ex-champions this season. I'd like him to be the next. Now, if you want to meet Jung Jung, who do you want to meet? I'm sure I'm going to kill Jung Jung and I'm going to kill Jung Jung. I'm going to kill Jung Jung and I'm going to kill Jung Jung. If I play against Sue, it's going to be a team kill. I actually think Sue's better than me. So I'd much prefer to play against life. Look at those biceps, man. I know. This nerd definitely lifts. Any comments to your opponents? Probably going to Phoenix's. Rain's a good player, and I've always wanted to be friends with him. But today I'm going to be beating him. And then try to become friends. Rain said, I'll make you second place today. Now, Rain, don't be fooled. Because he did say that he thinks Zest is the best PvP, but this is actually a strategy that he took from foreign StarCraft 1 players. This is the ultimate excuse slash self boost where you say your opponent, you're like, well, he's amazing, he's the best. And then if you beat them, suddenly, well, I don't know. I guess I'm just even better than that. But if you lose, you're like, yeah, no, he was the best. He was what the do you best. want? I told you coming yeah, into this. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Now, this, this is This is the opposite approach that we ended up taking back. We were pro gamers. Yes. So I'm like, yeah, the kid's a garbage can, man. He's going to go down. <laughs> 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 then you lose. You're like, oh, God. No, this is a much safer <laughs> approach that Rain has taken. That's a safe macro play for his career to say yeah. that. Talk about that's That's a reputation macro approach right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, really quite brilliant. That's taking your reputation and building turrets around it. Yeah. Now, take a look at these wins. Now, it's not that these wins are bad, and he's been playing in Pro League recently as well, and beat Trap again there, and a, a few others. But these don't really match up to the Protoss's Reign is beaten. Look at Reign. Hero Classic parting Deer. He also took out Trap, and then, you know, some other guys that we aren't going to talk about. It's a little bit far back. Uh, but he did beat well, SOS though. was like, <laughs> <laughs> well, it was actually the best totally European well PvP out. man. Yeah. He's he's great, but that's a little while ago. Yeah, so I'm gonna that's I am gonna leave it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you look at like Stork and Trap. I'm like, well, you know, yeah, those are good Protoss players, but this isn't selling me on you winning this zest. Well, it's not a, a big list, that's for sure. Um, I'm interested though. Zest said he was very confident. Uh, then again, you know, Rain. If you look at those results, you can't you can't deny that he's got a very strong chance here. Our map lineup. Is going to be Habitation Station, Daedalus Point, Ultrazine Stronghold, Frost, Heavy Rain, Yunsu, and finally, Polar Knight. Totally sick. I'm so happy that we have a best of seven tasteless. Look at that. Uh, Zest now 5-0 uh, and o on uh, Polar Knight and 4-0 and o here on uh, Daedalus Point. Yeah, that's true. He has a really insane win record. Well, yeah. he's just been on fire lately. Uh, he's just been killing everyone basically everywhere. So. Yeah. Uh, definitely, if you look at the recent hype, it's with Zest. Don't let it fool you, though, Tasis. Don't let it lead you astray.
Say solid. This is the blue chip stock. This is rain, okay? You put your money on rain in the long term, he's going to come out on top. He's our guy. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. It, he's going to be around forever. You know what's actually great about this? No matter what, we have the good finals. That no is true. Matter what. Whatever finals we get is good. Well, Rain Sue wouldn't be the best. That would be the worst out of the possible different finals. But, but it wouldn't be terrible. No, it's it wouldn't just, be terrible. Know, teammate versus teammate makes for It wouldn't be as games. bad as Nesty versus Lucera or Nesty no. versus uh, Marine King or that Nesty was... versus Inca. <laughs> Wouldn't it be as bad as any of Nestle's Oh my victories? god, I forgot about the Inca final. Yeah, wow, talk about pretty bad talk about a finals that just kind of faded away. Yeah, that was, Man. that was pretty bad. Okay, so we have Habitation Station as our first map. Should be uh, crazy. It should be very interesting because Habitation Station has many different properties compared to other maps, such as the gold bases. I don't know if they're going to play as much role in PvP. Yeah, yeah. It, well, it's hard to say, but uh, one thing we can be thankful for Neither of these players is Terran, so we won't see anyone lift up their command center and do something stupid like float it to the gold base. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like we are almost ready to get this game started here. Uh, by the way, we have a, a large number of people down in the studio today yeah, for a near match. We really do. I actually thought it was going to be Look a little bit that. smaller. Hi. Oh, they're looking back at us now. Yeah, they're yeah. waving to us now. I forgot oh, nice they can hear us down there. They can Welcome hear us. Welcome to the oh studio, my guys. They have really good hearing. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the studio, and by the way, for those of you at home, uh, entry is free, as we always say. Come to Samsung Station, we're not far from there. That's and, right. Uh, we're on floor Exit two. one or two, I don't know. Yeah, we keep saying the wrong one. It's one of them. I've been coming here for so long, I no longer check. Yeah. I meant to um, check today, too. I actually thought of it. I'm like, I should check so we can say it, and then I forgot so to check. Um, we're having the finals here as well, right? I don't know yet. I, yeah, I, it hasn't been announced. Don't take so. my word on that, guys. We might actually have the finals at another venue, but... Mm -hmm. Um, definitely come to that as well. It's going to be an epic finals. Mm -hmm. Looks like Zest is having some kind of problem with his computer, so we might have a small delay here. Mm. Rain in the meantime, completely ready. What a veteran, being completely what a ready. Pro. Zest looking at me, he's like, I might roll the road, I'm nervous, my computer's broken. <laughs> <laughs> get I can't out of get here, my Zest. headphones plugged in. <laughs> Yo, so. Zest has had so many different IDs tasteless, like over, over his little StarCraft that, II that career. That drives me crazy when you have a guy who's changed his ID that so much. So many times, like, uh, I remember back when they first started doing uh, Pro League with the Kespa players, and he was popping up. Yeah. He was like, I think back then he was known as Wookie, and then he was known as like P7 Gab, which is P Chill Gab, which means like covered in blood. That was a cool idea. I actually like the ID Wookie better. You like Wookie better than covered in blood in Korean or Zest? Yeah. I think Zest is actually a very good ID. No, man. If this guy was Wookie idea. and every time he won, I could go. And then Mike, no, I, I would prefer Wookie. I see. What did you ever have? Well, okay, what were some of your Smurf IDs? Oh, by the way, for those of you guys who have Smurf IDs, is where you make a uh, ID that's not yours and you pretend to not be Prince I had Dark had some really good Smurf IDs. Yeah. Um, I had Bean, which is a character from Ender's Game. I had, okay. Uh, I love Victory, which was like for I love Ooh. And um, I had some others too, but we'll talk about that. In yeah, a we'll talk about that starting. in a minute. As we now have game number one ready here. It's a best of seven in the semifinals. Zest against Rain. Here in the GSL Codex. 2014 Hot 6 GSL Season 1, Round 4, Zest versus Ring. And we label those games right there. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, so you had uh, I Love Victory, you had Bean. Yeah, I had a lot of Smurfs. I can't even remember all of them. Something like Run and like... I had this Smurf a long time ago on Battlenet before like IC Cup and PG Tour and stuff. It was uh, Miwok Clan, and I went to the clan recruitment channel, and I beat every single clan in there. They all got excited. They're like, oh my god, you're going to join? I'm like, yeah, sure, bro. And then I like log off and go away. <laughs> You can do these things too. You know, the battle that's different now. I actually prefer the StarCraft One battle net a lot more. But back sometimes, I just feel like, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go find a team and force my way onto <laughs> it. I just go find a team and beat everybody. Yeah. But like, yeah, you guys want me to join? I like make, a, sick an, make an ID, and then I'm like, all right, I'm never gonna do this again. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we have. Oh um, man. Look at how sexy that yeah, is by Rain. Yeah, he's checking for proxy look gates inside of his base, checking everywhere right now. Guys, I, I want you all to look at this and think about how many proxy gates we've seen dismantle nerds lately and the fact that Rain is like, you know what I'm going to do after my gateway? The same way Artosis does it. <laughs> That's what he said for sure. <laughs> no. Well, I, I do it like Rain does it actually, but <laughs> speaking of ego, um, he goes, he checks the natural, and yeah. he checks his main. He's, he's not going to lose to a proxy gate. 
He's not going to lose to any proxy gates Well, today. proxy gating has been like at an all-time high in yeah. PvP. Yeah. People are so greedy with their builds, and Rain says, you know what? You have those extra minerals. I'm going to have peace of mind. It's worth it in this case. Yeah. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if he does that every single game. I don't think we're going to see a single proxy gate from Rain, however. I, like I, yeah, I don't think so. And the thing is, as soon as Zest's coach goes in there, he should let him know that, hey, Rain is checking for proxies everywhere. Yeah. Abort mission. Like, what, for whatever map. Because I'm sure that Zest has at least one proxy. Normally, when, uh, when you go into a best of seven, especially of all things a best of seven, you have one to two, I think, with, I would say bare minimum cheese builds set up. So you definitely want to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Going on to the builds right now, yeah. uh, we have a Stargate here from Zest as the Mothership and Core is being produced. It's like the quickest Stargate that you can basically get. This is like a little bit of probe cutting going on even. Uh, super, super fast and a super fast uh, Mothership Core as well. So the Mothership Core can easily go over Scout, see what his opponent's doing, and he can get into his Oracles and or Phoenixes uh, immediately. So I, I quite like the build order of Zest. Out of the two builds, I actually do prefer the Zest build here. Okay, so the builds are branching off now. Uh, Zest does have that first Phoenix being chrono boosted out here. And this is not a situation where they're both going for Phoenixes. In fact, it looks like Rain's going to put a Nexus down here at his expansion. Now, uh, And know, that's a good counter to a Phoenix opener. It is, because obviously the Phoenixes can't pick up that Nexus. No. They can uh, try to get some probes, but between the Mothership Core you have and the Stalkers, usually you can push the Phoenixes away. Yeah. Uh, generally you can. And in fact, he's going straight into his own Stargate, so it looks like we'll probably have a Phoenix-Phoenix war. Yeah. Uh, These get very dicey, by the way. I mean, it's possible it's that he very, cancels that, though. It's, it's quite possible, but if they do go into Phoenix versus Phoenix, that is a very unforgiving uh, situation. Oh, yeah. One guy who makes just some, a few misclicks, and I mean, it, things snowball very fast. Well, we do have a couple gates being added right now. Now, the Phoenixes are going to start to fly in. Two of them coming in right now, and we'll get to see what Rain wants to do. Does he go Phoenixes from here? where he's going to be behind on Phoenix count by a pretty large margin? Or does he uh, does he switch it up? Well, we're, we'll see. I mean, I'm wondering if Rain does go for Phoenixes, what exactly is Xander's going to be uh, to this since he's going to be stuck constantly behind in Phoenixes. He might huh? try to get a second Stargate or something. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, with the quicker second Nexus, he definitely can do something like that. It's absolutely possible for him okay. to go into Phoenixes. First probe kill uh, from the Phoenixes. Overall, though, they haven't done that much damage. Now we're oh. going to go into the second probe kill. Yeah, not too much so far. He's got to watch out with that one Phoenix, though. Really doesn't want that to die. Really nice micro here by Rain, and a good choice to go Nexus Cannon because those four would just fly over all the ground. You just kill the Phoenix, and he'd get even further ahead. Yeah. So that Nexus is basically protecting the Phoenix right now. Yeah. Note he's not using this other Nexus down here. He can really only protect one location. Uh, so for the time being, that Nexus is really no more than a placeholder. Mm. This is actually this is very interesting what we're seeing. We actually have the Robo coming up immediately here for Zest. I believe that Rain just saw that with that probe. Uh, where is the Robo, actually? Because I was watching the building tab a little bit. Um, but anyways, he knows that with those three gates and the smaller Phoenix count, we should see a lot of Stalkers coming out of Rain, which means that getting a quick Robo is kind of smart in that regard. If he gets a couple of Mortals out, he can easily hold. But, ooh, a second Stargate already for Zest. So Zest it might just keep uh, his Phoenix count high enough that uh, Rain's going to have a very difficult time uh, you know, stopping this. One Phoenix Ooh. down, that's actually a really big deal. It doesn't yeah. look like it uh, at first, but really, when you get that's the Phoenix versus Phoenix situation here, um, just losing a Phoenix without really uh, gaining anything in return is, mm -hmm. oh, it's I'm, bad, especially with Zest already ahead in the Phoenix count. I have to tell you, Tasteless, I'm a little bit nervous for Rain right now because he's just continuing to produce Phoenix out of one Stargate. He's down on Phoenix count, and it's going to get a bigger and bigger uh, differential here because Zest is... Really focusing heavily on Phoenixes with two of them, and even quicker gas is at his natural. Phoenix is bunching up right now. Now, uh, note that uh, Zest really got his expansion up in a weird way almost the same time as Rain, even though Rain's finished much earlier because, uh, you know, Rain wasn't able to use his expansion. So uh, Zest overall just is in a lead right now. Yeah. Um, because he has the superior Phoenix count combined with the fact <gasps> that it's Oh my god. Oh. Now, wait, how many were killed there? He lost two. Two, okay. Wait, no, I guess he lost one, technically. 
right? No, wait, that was Zest's lost time. Yeah, you lost two there. Uh, that's a big deal. You can't let your Phoenixes engage their Phoenixes at all. Like, ground units don't kill Phoenixes. Not in these small numbers. No, I mean, you, obviously what is the, the Stalkers and the Sentries can shoot them, but they're not dealing damage out fast enough. Uh-oh! What now is Zest picking up some Phoenixes over here! I don't understand what the plan, plan of rain is here. What is the plan? What is he doing? Okay, he's getting a Twilight, so he's switching it up. And he's going into Dark Shrine. Like, okay, okay, and we actually had a Robo Cancel before from Zest, and he's remaking it. But uh, going into the Dark Shrine, I mean, you can use it for Archons, but he's obviously getting it because he wants DTs as well. Huh. We'll see how effective the DT is there. Archon is, of course, a very good uh, response later on to yeah. the Phoenixes because you can just blast them with the Archon Phoenixes Slash Phoenixes do zero. Damage. Yeah. And, I mean, he's going Blink as well, so that's nice, but... When you've committed as much to Phoenixes as Rain has, and they are just completely outdone, you're he's so far behind. He's seven Phoenixes behind, and he's not going to make any more, of course, but those three Phoenixes are basically worthless. He's lost three, so he spent 600 gas that did nothing. Okay, now picking off several probes here, and uh, he's going to be able to get out of here because even if Rain tries to pursue with his Phoenixes, he loses that fight. Yeah. Now, maybe Rain can try to zone him back over here. I don't think this will last, but let's see. Oh wait, he's just gonna get out. Yeah. Yeah, he just he just You can just fly walks right like, out. You can take stalker hits. Like Phoenixes have a lot of health and there's a lot of them. Blink isn't even now, done. Notice this, he's deemed this now the appropriate moment to stop the Phoenix production. Now he's warping in a bunch more gates, he's getting immortals out. What he wants to do is a very strong timing attack. Um, and I, I don't know if Raid's going to be able to stop that. In fact, now with these Phoenixes over here in the bottom right, uh, there's no way that most of these Phoenixes should get back in one piece. Yeah, he's even splitting them off. They're they're pretty wasted here. And with all these gateways that have been added by Zest, when that and the fact he, that he's he making not have an observer, right? He has no observer. Oh, oh, oh my this God, changes you're right. everything. He doesn't. Force field. Well, okay, this, this definitely is really could change everything. really bad now. That's actually rather surprising, The isn't one it? thing that could have gone Rain's way did go his way. Uh, he does not have an observer. Yeah. Um, and nothing at all to spot. No cannons, nothing. Um, which means a lot of workers are going to be killed off here. I wonder how many he got. It doesn't look like he actually got that many, but he definitely forced a lot of lost mining time. Yeah, he's only killed three. And I think one was a scout. So those DTs actually did much less than I thought they would. Oh, I know, right? I thought they were going to do much more damage. When there's zero detection, that's what you kind of expect. And now, what is Rain going to do from well, here? here's the problem for Rain right now is that... Well, hold on. We have a lot more workers being killed off. Well. Here's the problem for Rain in the long run. Um, besides losing all these workers, he's going to be behind on his immortal count. So you see Rain has a lot of stalkers here. But if the immortal count gets high enough, there's not a whole lot that uh, these stalkers can do. But in the meanwhile, oh, oh my god, and that was a brilliant force field. Well, and by the way, uh, the Phoenixes are not in position to help defend just yet. No, they certainly aren't. What, 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 what? 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 You joking? I can't believe he didn't. I would've, it would've been worth it to well, sack. You know, the thing is, he, he did miss the force fields a little bit and let the Zolots in next to the Nexus. If he made him walk around the other way, it would've been a, oh wow. And now he can't get the Nexus. There's no way he's getting the Nexus. Yeah. And the Phoenix is doing a beautiful job here of, of just dishing out so much damage. Um, well, let's see how the armies start to size them after this. We have two Immortals out and a third one <laughs> almost finished. Oh my god, a massive gateway explosion. Zest probably not going to expand anytime soon here. He's just going to power on two bases. Well, let's see what Rain can do here. These are some pretty good force fields overall. He still has a lot of Blink Stalkers. Those Phoenix is really coming in helpful. And uh, the know, Immortals the unit just combination being... here is just too good for Zest. Yeah. I mean, he's just, he can engage too easily. Um, I mean, most of Rain's army is just Stalkers, which can be micro, but between Zealots and Immortals, and then, of course, the Phoenixes and mm -hmm. the other Protoss units involved there for Zest, uh, there's not enough wiggle room there for Rain to really uh, eke out more damage with his units. Yeah. Let's, this is really rough, man. And look at this. Even more counter-harassment going on. And uh. He's going to just walk away from um, that ramp there. Now, the worker count is another big factor here. Uh, there's a 10-worker lead right now for Zest. Actually, more than 10 now that he's gotten even more damage 25 off. 25 workers killed. Yeah. You know, after this beautiful speech I gave about how Rain is really, <laughs> truly the bee's knees, he is not showing I was wondering game. if you were going to bring that up. Of course um, i got to bring that yeah. up. Well, uh, he is blinking up here, but that's a serious commitment. 
Uh, now there are a lot of Immortals out here, and you got to keep in mind there are more and more Zealots being warped in. That's going to be a oh GG. Boy. Wow, Zest slaps down Rain for game number one. <laughs> uh, you know what popped in my head when he went up that ramp and blinked in to kill the Immortals? Like <laughs> that, you know that song "Cut My Life Into Pieces." Yeah, this blink is my last, last resort. resort. <laughs> um, yeah, that was actually not the best played game by Rain, to be perfectly yeah, um, frank. Yeah, you know, Rain identified what his opponent was uh, doing and tried to respond to it, but Zest was too on top of it with his Phoenixes, shaved off too many of Rain's Phoenixes. Uh, also, Zest knew exactly when to, to stop making the Phoenixes mm. insta-switch into the robotic facility with the gateway tech. Get out those Zealots, get out those Stalkers, get out a Sentry or two and a few Stalkers of your own. Um, I would put Zest down, like, in to an almost perfect game. The one tiny mistake was the lack of an observer. Other than that, he basically played perfectly there. And you know like, what? Every move, let's, every decision, every timing, all the micro was amazing as well. And let's take well. a look at this as well. Even though we didn't have the observer, could his handling of the DTs been any better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was perfect. No, it was exactly. absolutely perfect. I mean, losing three probes with two DTs and two in both. No, I know. It's, it's crazy. I he, mean, he played like a perfect game. Whereas with Rain, I saw like multiple mistakes. He didn't really choose what he wanted to do. It was a tough spot though because Even there was that. already so many phoenixes over, and he already had committed to Stargate tech, and yeah. he couldn't send the probes as you said. It was like a that was a placeholder. That was like a paperweight down there. Yeah. Um, you know, does he make the stalkers to commit to holding it? The thing is, he hemmed and hawed. He made some phoenixes, and then he went into yeah. soccer. You can't do that. Well, Daedalus Point is a very different map that requires a very different play style here. Let's see how they approach this. The game actually uh, just now loaded up, so we're going to go ahead and get into this. This will be game number two between Zest and Rain. The winner of this series will be the first player to move on into the finals in the most competitive StarCraft II show of all time, the GSL Code X.